What's going on? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I have a new video. We're going to be changing the oil on this 2019 Chevy Silverado. And right here, I have the oil filter because this is for a 2.7 liter, so the new four cylinder that they came out with about a year ago. So it uses the, PP, uh, the PF66 AC Delco filter. I also, it is a little hard to find, but they do make other filters. Um, because you can't even go get an oil filter for this at AutoZone or Advanced yet. Napa has it. So the Napa number is, what is it? 100351. OE is that one right there. Then you got Wix, which is, you know, Napa. And then this is actually a premium guard. And it's a PG99495. And this is what I bought when I couldn't find an AC Delco filter. But this is the first time actually doing this oil change and I was able to find a dealership that actually stocked it. I'll show you what it looks like. But this is it right here. So, yeah, it was a little hard to find these filters, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Also, this oil change is gonna be super easy because on these new four cylinders, it is a plastic oil pan. So it actually just takes a 3 eighths um, head or but an extension is going to be easier to get in there and that's how it unlocks and I'll show you real quick I'll slide under there and show you that but it is super e easy and the other thing you will need is obviously an oil pan I have a low profile one because my setup that I'm doing right here got a little bridge with the ramp going so I'm going to use that and actually those are horse hoof pliers because I didn't have an oil wrench on me so we got horses out here so I stole that from the barn up there and it kind of, you know, you got to make it, got to make it work sometimes. So I did that, but we'll get in there real quick and uh, yeah, that up there, there's the black is the oil pan right there. It's a little hard. Okay, so it's a little tight squeeze in here, but there's your oil filter and right there, this black piece is your pan. And right above the sway bar, if I can show it, right there where my light is shining in the middle, that is where your drain plug is. So you see I have this low profile one to get in here. It's a pretty tight fit, so I won't be able to show too much of me draining the oil, but that is it. Fairly simple on this one. So I'm going to start getting the oil drained and all that. And it takes 5W30, 6 quarts of it with the filter. Super easy, and I'll show you real quick what that drain plug looks like so you can see it. But yeah, it's a, as you can tell, it's a tight squeeze. So, let me get started. Alright, like I said, I wanted to show you, this is what the drain plug actually looks like on the X front Silverado. Golly, I didn't know what I was going to say. Because that's an Xterra, that's a Silverado. But yeah, this is for the Silverado. This is what it looks like. That's your oil filter, and again, that's how I got it off. Just, it's easy, it's, I mean, this literally couldn't be an easier oil change, because the way they did it. And you literally can't strip this out now, because it's just plastic, and you can't over-tighten it. This literally goes on and off like the oil cap does, because it's grooved in there, on these lines. So once it tightens up, which is kind of scary, it's locked into place all the way, and you can't over-tighten it. So, one advantage, but it's also plastic. Which is kind of scary. And yeah, that means you can't do a, ma a magnetic drain plug anymore until someone comes out with that. Because you'd have to have the plastic cast go around the magnet, which I don't know if anyone will do that. I'm hoping so, because I wanted to do that. And as I found out, that's why you can't find <laughs> find those, because no one makes that. I don't even know if it's possible. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish up down there, and then I'll show you what it looks like putting the oil in, and we'll be good to go. I mean, this should be like a 10 minute oil change at the most. Alright, so we got everything set up. Uh, I don't have my GM oil filter um, funnel, so I just have a generic one. I got five quarts of my mobile one, and then I got another quart of i uh, I'm using the Lucas oil stabilizer. Uh, I don't have a bottle right there. But, yeah, so it's easy as can be. It's just right in front of you. It says on your cap what to put on there, 5W30. Put in the good stuff. I recommend putting in 
synthetic, even though GM still hasn't switched over to full synthetic on a lot of their cars yet. So I'm going to put that in, super easy. Six quarts, put your car on a level surface, um, we'll start it up, then go find a level surface, check and make sure your oil is good, make sure you have no leaks, then you're done with your oil change, and it's super easy to go inside, flip through the menu, all you have to do is scroll through where you see your oil reset life, life, hold down the OK button, right there in the middle of the steering wheel, I'll probably show you that, but that's all you have to do, and your oil change is done, and you're good to go. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like for more videos. And thanks again. Have a good day. Bye.